I've worked in finance all my career, some of my time as an investment banker. And a lot of my friends and colleagues and business associates ask me, why should people invest in agroforestry? What's the point of agroforestry? And the best way I can answer that question is by talking a little bit about what I saw in Malawi last year. In Malawi, subsistence farmers grow maize. They have small farms and because of the climate, it's difficult to grow a good, good, good crop. Malawi is a poor country. Life expectancy is between 40 and 45, and the, the population of the country is about 10 million people. By using agroforestry, farmers that interplant their maize crop with glirichidia get a hugely better crop than those farmers who don't use glirichidia. And for me, the really telling aspect of this as an investment is that the farmers, by doing this, are able to raise their families, their children are educated, they're healthy. We saw healthy children whose parents were farmers using agroforestry as compared with the children of farmers who didn't yet use agroforestry techniques. Their children looked very undernourished and not terribly healthy. And in terms of the return on investment, the World Agroforestry Centre has worked out that for an investment of around $10 million a year, that's one dollar per person in Malawi. Over 10 years, Malawi could become fully self-sufficient in food. And contrast that $10 million a year, over 10 years is $100 million. The amount of money that is spent on artificial fertilizer subsidy in one year is $100 million. And that does not bring sustainability and self-sufficiency for the farmers and thus health and good lives and an increase in life expectancy and more, just generally a more prosperous country. So to me it's a no-brainer. One dollar a person a year for 10 years and you become self-sufficient in food.